interesting what the panel feels like, but I think sometimes the, the fear in doing it is worse than actually doing it. I think you'll find it's a lot easier once you get involved and start doing it. Good. Let, let's, let's sit down and have some pretty frank conversations. And quite honestly, this is maybe my banker coming out in him. One of the, one of the difficult conversations as a kid is to say, Dad, I don't know anything about your finances. I don't know specifically what you have in retirement funds. I don't know specifically what you have asset-wise that I may not be aware of. I think I understand what the range is worth. I don't, I don't know how much, how much cash flow you're getting and how much you're living on a year, Dad, and what you need. And so looking at how we can structure this to where I ended up taking over the ranch to where I can guarantee him a cash flow that doesn't change his and mom's lifestyle. So you have to get into some of those tough conversations. Dad feels good. Dad's relaxed. The stress is off of him. Um, but be prepared for round two. Round two is now it's our way. It's not dad's way. And we may want to make a change so the whole new dynamic comes in because dad's not going anywhere. He's still involved. He's still in the corral. He's still making decisions. My advice to you is you need to get your attorney, your CPA, your banker, and your planner all at the same table at the same time. And we don't do that. If they don't want to sit at the same table and talk about your estate and, your, and whatever you have going on, whoever that is that doesn't want to sit there is the wrong guy for you. I think you should have a team around you and you're paying us all to do it. You ought to get us to the 